one of the questions that come up a lot is around budget. How do I get budget uh, from a client who doesn't want to tell me? Uh, what do I say? How do I do it? All that type of stuff. So all I can give you is feedback that uh, our best clients use to, I guess, get control of the client and get control of the budget or understand what the budget is. And that is when you ask someone like Peter Tui or Jeff Krieger or uh, Roderick Anderson or people like this who are you know, very successful architects in our group, um, they don't even need to, t they, you know, so the first thing is, it's not, do they have a script for it? Yeah, they do, but the first thing they have is a mindset that uh, if you can't give me a budget, if we can't have a discussion around budget, um, there's no point moving moving forward. It, it's almost like from their point of view, I'm not investing any time and effort into a client who's not going to give me, if you don't trust me with budget, what are we talking for? You know, it, there's nowhere to go. So, so that's their attitude, right? So what do they say? Well, you know, they say things like, you know, I, I can't do anything further until I know what I'm working on here. So, you know, being cagey about the budget is, is not doing me a service or you a service. So, and, and, and they'll, they'll just, you know, if it's uncomfortable, they'll leave it uncomfortable until the person uh, gives them a budget. If the person refuses to give them a budget, that's it. It's over. So it's not so much a case of what's, there, there are scripts, you know, I've got scripts that I can give you and things like that, but I think maybe even more important than the scripts is the mindset that I wouldn't say you look at it from a point of view of contempt towards them, but it's a bit of an impasse that if they won't give you a budget, unless they give you a really good reason, and, and most of these, you know, and, and ask them, what's the reason you won't give me a budget? Because their reason is usually pretty embarrassing, right? And that's it. I mean, those people I just mentioned really would consider it wasting their time to do anything other than just sitting in the room until the person gives it to them. And if they refuse to give it to them, they say, well, okay. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do for you. Uh, you know, I don't know where to start. Step one, I need to work to a budget. All right, so I'll give you a script anyway, but, but one of them is, you know, I need to either work to a budget or is there a budget we need to keep within? You know, are you doing, okay, so another one, are you doing this so that you can get finance or are you doing this because uh, to, to work within a certain budget? So there's some scripty things off the top of my head. But the main thing is really it's not about the scripty things. It's around the mindset. And you've got to be strong. Um, if you're going to be weak and let the client walk all over you and not give you a budget, um, you're starting out in a really weak position that doesn't really augur well for the rest of the project, even if you did win the contract. Okay, so it's really all about mindset.